Jake here for American Trucks, and in this video, we're taking a look at the Hypertech Max Energy Spectrum Power Programmer for 2007 to 2018 Silverado and Sierra 1500s. Take control of your Silverado or Sierra with the Hypertech Max Energy Spectrum Power Programmer. This is a great choice for the owner who wants to be able to fine tune their truck's responses and features and add some additional power as well. Diving right in here, let's talk numbers. Now we dyno tested this on our 2014 Silverado 1500. Our truck has the 5.3 liter V8 and it runs 93 octane in the tank. We also ran the truck in third gear to get a good clean pull all the way up to redline without hitting the speed limiter on the truck or on our dyno. Now our stock run came out with 282 horsepower at 5,400 RPM and 296 pound-feet of torque at 4,100 RPM. Now after getting the Hypertech plugged in and loading up the tune, we saw 293 horsepower at 5,100 RPM and 339 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 RPM, giving us peak gains of 11 horsepower and 46 pound-feet of torque, which is a pretty noticeable increase. Curve gains were impressive as well. As you can see from our graph, we saw improvements all the way through the rev range and a very smooth curve in both stock and tuned forms. Now, the biggest gains were seen down low, just below 2000 RPM, which is where we started our runs. But we saw 70 pound feet of torque over stock after we tuned it up. And we saw the biggest horsepower gains coming in around the mid range, about 4000 RPM, where we saw 33 horsepower over stock. So for a pre-programmed tune, that is a very impressive result. Now, this little programmer has a ton of different features, but let's start with the actual engine tuning. Now you get some preset tunes to optimize things for different fuel octane ratings, and you have the ability to load up custom tunes on here as well. This is also gonna save your stock tune, so if you need to revert things back to stock, you can do that very easily. It also gives you the ability to save your tune as you set it up, because there's a bunch of different parameters that we'll talk about in a moment that you can adjust, and really with just one click, you can set everything back without having to go and select every different option. And that brings us nicely to the other parameters that you can adjust. You can deactivate the active fuel management or adjust it to come on at certain speeds. You can also adjust your top speed limiter all the way up to, I believe, 255 miles an hour, which if you're doing that on one of these, good luck. Maybe don't set it that high. You can also accommodate for larger wheels and tires or a different gear ratio and get your speedometer and odometer reading properly. And you can adjust the tire pressure monitoring system. And this also does something we don't see a lot of in other tuners. It also gives you the ability to adjust parameters for your automatic transmission. Now, since these are all electronically controlled, you can do a bunch of different things. You can adjust shift firmness, the shift response, and your shift points by RPM, raising them or lowering them. You can even adjust the torque converter clutch slip to get better response, and that's a really nice thing to see included here since most other programmers don't go that in depth with transmission tuning. And that's a really nice thing to see included here since most other programmers don't go that in depth with transmission tuning or include that really at all, especially not in a way that you can adjust. Now the Hypertech of course also allows you to read and clear diagnostic trouble codes. So if you do happen to get a check engine light, you can see what the code is and clear it away. The interface here is quite simple. You've got three buttons on the bottom, two on the side to scroll, and you have a full color screen. Makes it pretty easy to navigate, and the display is nice as well. Updates are taken care of via the free downloadable software and the included USB cable, so just plugging it into a PC gets you set up and ready to go pretty quickly. Pricing comes in at around $450 which in the grand scheme of things makes this a pretty good value for your money considering all it can do for you. It'll definitely undercut some of the other tuners on the market and if you're looking for a way to make the most out of your truck, this is a great way to get things fine tuned just the way you like. And again, it adjusts things that some other tuners don't even touch at all. Installation is going to get a one out of three on our difficulty meter and should only take you about 30 minutes to complete. Now, really, this is just a plug and play setup. You plug this into the tuner and then you plug it in via your OBD2 port underneath of the dashboard. Now, we built in a little extra time there to accommodate for getting this updated and playing around with the different settings. And you'll probably take some more time than that just figuring out how you like your truck setup exactly. But with that, let's hop on over to the truck and we'll show you how to set this one up. All right, now it is time to install the Hypertech Max Energy Spectrum Programmer on our 2014 Silverado here. So this is a very simple installation. We're just gonna plug in the included cord right into the side here. This is basically an HDMI cable. It only goes in one way, just like that on the side. And then the other end, 
plugs into our OBD2 port underneath the dash. So we'll go ahead and plug that in, get the unit powered up, and we'll load the tune onto our truck. So inside the truck, we're gonna take the OBD2 cable just like this, this little tab facing down, and we're gonna plug it into the port right here under the dash. Just like that, then our module is gonna boot up. Now that our programmer is powered on, we see it's asking us to put the key in and turn it to the run position, but not start the engine. So this is gonna happen for most of these types of things. It's also very important when we do this to make sure that your battery is nice and healthy because the truck is gonna be running purely on battery power for a lot of this until we get everything loaded up into the truck. We have ours plugged into a battery tender here because we're doing a bunch of stuff on this truck in one shot. But if you can grab one of those, highly recommend it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the key on. Now that our bonding has stopped, we're gonna turn our lights off here. We're gonna go ahead and hit OK. This will bring us into the main menu. So you see it's gonna read the VIN. That'll pop up right down there. Now I know that's ours because I checked it beforehand. After a moment, it brings us to the main menu. So this is a pretty simple five button interface and it'll show you what ones are gonna work down here. So to scroll back and forth, obviously right and left here, we've got our tuning, quick commands, trouble codes, setup and information, and then we're back to tuning here. So we're gonna start with the first and most important thing, which is why we're here, and that's to tune the truck. So we're gonna go ahead and hit select, and you see a couple of different options here. So you've got preset tuning. Now, if you've got anything already set yet, this is a preset that you have done yourself. So as you can see, we don't have any of those set. This is a fresh module that we just pulled out of the box. Previous tuning will come down there, and we have uninstall as well, but we're going to custom tuning. So we're gonna hit select here, and this is gonna go ahead and read the vehicle. And once it does that, it'll have some options for us to pick from, and then we can program the truck. All right, so now we're into our tuning menu. So we can scroll down and see there's a bunch of different things. So we're gonna start right here with the engine tuning, and we're gonna go through and select our octane rating. Now, we are running premium in this truck. We're running 93 octane, so we're gonna select that. Next, we have our rev limiter. So you can hit select here. If you wanna change this by any degree, you can change that right here. You can lower it, you can raise it. We're not gonna do anything, so we're just gonna hit back here. Same with top speed, you can change it up all the way up. Now these trucks do have a speed limiter about 100 miles an hour on them. We're not gonna change anything, but I just wanna show you how far you can go with it. And uh, if you're getting this thing up to 186 miles an hour, good on you. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back. Here's where you can adjust for tire size. Again, we're leaving our stock. We have our stock wheels back on here, but it gives you options from 24 inches all the way up. You can be here for quite some time. 34s, 35s, 37s, all the way above 40. Again, we're not changing any of this, so we're just gonna go back. Here we have gear ratio, so if you've changed out the rear end axle ratio in your truck, you can select that here as well. Again, we're not changing anything. Ours is totally stock, so we're gonna go back here. This next one is rather important for those of you who want to delete or turn off the active fuel management, or DFM or AFM, whatever you wanna call it in these trucks. You can select that, and you can select when it turns off, or you can just have it off completely. So you can have it at, off at any speed, basically below 70 miles an hour, or again, you can have it off completely. Now we're gonna leave ours on because we're running the truck on the dyno, it's not gonna kick in. So we'll go back, scroll down. Now you can also change shift points, shift firmness, throttle response, even your torque converter slip, and your shift response. So you can do it per gear shift, all of them, you have a lot of options here with this, which is pretty cool. So this will raise your shift points, things like that. Gain your shift firmness. We can change that if we want. Again, we're gonna leave this totally stock so we have an apples to apples comparison. We have throttle response. Again, you can change this as well. And you see there's a bunch of different settings, everything from stock to track, tow, and anything in between. And you can even do hyper mileage, which is gonna really make this a little bit more lethargic. Again, we're not changing that. Torque converter slip. Again, if you want it to lock up a little bit quicker, you can do that. We're gonna leave it at stock. And we have our shift response. Again, sort of like the throttle response, just a little bit different. 
All right, so once you're happy with all that, we're gonna hit this button right over here that says flash. And it'll give you a note. It'll summarize all the stuff that you have. Again, all of our other settings are totally stock. So we're just changing the engine tuning because we wanna see what happens. So we'll hit accept. And it'll give you the option to save these as a preset. We're just gonna hit no for right now because we didn't really change anything crazy on this. So the first thing it's gonna go through is reading diagnostic trouble codes, see if we have any check engine lights or pending codes or anything. And we've got a bunch showing, so we gotta clear them before we program it. And I'll show you what they are. And we got a bunch, so we're gonna go, we're just gonna hit clear, let that go through. Now our truck is sitting on the dyno. We've got some fuses and things pulled to run it properly, which is why it's showing some diagnostic trouble codes. All right, and this is the part where we don't touch anything. Let's make sure you've got everything unplugged, everything is off. You're gonna see some modules clicking around and some stuff happening here. And we're just gonna let this go. So you see we're at about 60% right now, and everything just kind of flashed off and on. We had some modules click underneath the hood. Again, this is all totally normal for something like this. Just don't touch anything, let it do its thing. Now it's gonna go ahead and write the tune onto the truck. Now that we've sat here and been patient, it's asking us to turn the key off and then press OK. We'll do that. Nice handy countdown for us. All right. Now let's turn the key back to the run position. Hit OK. Now, bonging is stopped, we'll hit OK. Turn the key off now. OK. All right, now you can unplug or press OK to restart the programmer, so that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna hit OK, because we're gonna go back through and look at some of the other options that we have on here. That boot itself back up. All right, now we're back to where we started, so we'll turn the key back to run. Hit OK. It's going to boot back up just like it did before and bring us back to the main menu. Okay, now we're back to the menu we saw before. So if we go back into tuning here, you see we can go to uninstall tuning. So that's what you would want to do if you're going to reset your truck back to stock. So we'll go back to the main menu for now and we'll go over and check out the quick command section. So this is where you can adjust your tire pressure monitoring system on this truck. Now different trucks may have some different options here, but on this one, this is what we've got. All the other stuff that we're gonna do has to be done through the tuning. So you can adjust all four, you can adjust front and rear separately if you want, and you can set the different pressure that you want the 
alert to go off at. We're gonna leave ours alone, but you can set it anywhere from 25 on up. And I'll ask you to just flash it. So we can go back here, bring us back to the main menu, and that brings us to the trouble code section. So this is the diagnostic section. So if we select that, this is gonna do kind of what it did before when we programmed the truck with the tune and read the engine computer to see if there are any pending or stored codes. Okay, so we've got two here. We can see what those are. These are definitely gonna be back you can read through and it'll give you a definition if it has one so we can't clear those if we want they're gonna come right back but that's okay so we'll go back here and then the next section is the setup and info so if you want to see any of the device information you can see that as well vehicle information which basically gives you the tuning status so if you can't remember what you have on there you can set that you can check the calibrations and see your VIN number too and you can also select the brightness and then that brings us back to tuning. That's gonna wrap it up here for our review, install, and dyno test of the Hypertech Max Energy Spectrum Power Programmer fitting 2007 to 2018 Silverado and Sierra 1500s. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, for all things Silverado and Sierra, be sure to keep it right here at americantrucks.com.